Catch 'em all with Catch 'em all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Today on Zach Ketchum's Urban Adventures, we have a little cooking to do. Catch 'em all bay. All right. This is the big guy we caught earlier. He's about 36, uh, 33 inches. Come look at the length. It's a big cobra bullseye, about nine pounds. All right. Let's go cook. This is a beautiful specimen. All right, let's get to it. Front and center. The size of the snake head makes it easier to fillet. The smaller ones are actually harder to fillet. Filleted about four ever. Ate one, fed the rest to neighbors. This guy is going to a happy, happy, happy neighbor, as you can tell. All right. Let's see. We're gonna cut right behind Miguel, just like any other fish. Any other fish? Boom. Stay close, stay close. Focus on the fish right now. I know I look good though. Right down the spine. This bubble blade cuts like butter, man. On the end of the tails, I like to push through. There's not much meat here anyway. Now we're gonna go back. Nice and smooth now. Now that we got through that skin. Should be able to hear the, hear that? That's the bone line. All right, so now we reach the bone line, right? That means we're good to go. Now we're gonna start getting deep in there. Try to avoid the scales. The scales aren't hard, they're easy to remove, and they're really big on big fish like this. So you won't have a problem. But look at that white meat, man. Snake head. Telling you, they sleep on it. All right. So as you can see, we're gonna get nice and close. To cut through this line. And, up. and like I said, my tail end, I don't really bother with that kind of meat. Okay. So that's the main fillet right there. Rest of this is like stomach cavity. So I like to cut right above the rib line. You see the rib line, it goes all the way down because this is a, like an eel-like fish. So its stomach is actually going way down here versus most fish ends about in the middle of the body. So I'm gonna cheat. You can see that if you look while you're filleting, you can see the, the rib cage. So let's not even waste our time with that, right? Cut right through. Not missing anything. Right along the rib cage, nice and smooth. Yeah. Woo. Alright. Now just finish it off. No bones, just a big healthy fillet. Now that's your snakehead for you. It's really not that hard. I mean, bubble blade makes it e easy. Uh, those Kershaw knives aren't bad either. Thanks, Peter Miller. But anyway, come take a look at this fillet. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
Now let's do skin it. All right, I'm gonna ask, ask you to move, my friend. Thank you. Paper down, we don't want a stinky mess. It's hard to do, to avoid sometimes with a big fish, but you can do this outside. I just don't like the mosquitoes. Mosquito. Uh, okay. I like to put the newspaper down first, so when the, the uh, scales come off, I can just throw them away. They'll be out of my way. Unlike my hair. Okay. So we're gonna cut into the meat to get this skin off. Now we're talking. All that skin, all that meat next to the skin is tough anyway. Oh yeah. That's my favorite part. If you do this right, you'll get all the garbage and all the good meat still on. Oh. Almost butchered it, but I saved it. All right, we're just gonna cut this part off because we saved it. That's good. Good to go. We'll make nuggets out of that. Nothing goes to waste. All right. Round two. Pulled a little bit too hard. It really helps to have clamps, but hey. You don't always need clamps. All right, making some progress now. All right, continue. I like to do the back end of the tail separately. Even though you don't have to, you can go through it one way. But as you can see, take a look at this meat. Gorgeous. Look at all this meat. Messed up a little bit right here, but hey. Still looking good. And if you want a snake skin boot, you don't have to go shopping. Alright. So now we're doing the other side. As you can see, we didn't miss an inch. Look at that meat. Clean cut. This is the part where I got a couple more extra couple of ribs in there by accident, but clean, really close, look at it. We didn't miss much, miss a whole lot of nothing. This is all rib cage, don't want to mess with that. There's a little bit of meat right here, don't worry about it, it has bone, it's really tough. We're gonna do the other side. All right, we already made our slit on the back of the throat. I think he's sleeping. So. I like to do it the other way. It's better for the camera. Need a good knife. Or you're gonna be doing this all night, trust me. I learned that the hard way. Hold the fins on your way down so you don't cut your fingers and to help you. Help it. Help you guide the knife all the way down. You can go all the way down here. I like to avoid the whole tail end because it's just really tough meat. Anything there from that point on is just trash. Okay. 
Okay. You can really feel the vertebrae, the big bones down the middle. You know, it might be hard to get a cut this thin. It's easy to get down to the, these middle vertebrae. Avoid those big bones. Alright. Okay, on this side. Follow in the rib cage. And we don't want rib bones. People will choke on them and you will feel bad. There's one. Oh no. Got one by accident. It's okay, but I don't really mess with it. Just lost our meat right there. All right, fillet number two. And that's what your snakehead should look like on both sides. <laughs> Gorgeous. Looking good. So now it's time for him to say goodbye. <sighs> goodbye, look at that thing. That thing's a monster. It's the only time I will ever lift a snakehead. I like to give my fish a good wash to get rid of the scales. Look at that. Plain filet. Not bad, Mr. Snake. Not bad. Here we got every, all that trash out of there. No scales. All right. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have our milk. I like to add half water, half milk. Sometimes I go whole milk if the fish is really fishy. Snakehead really isn't that fishy at all. It's a really great fish. But we'll go with skim milk today since my girl's on her diet. Fill that whole thing up with milk. And a little chip. Some salt. Catch them all bait out.